Rear kick. This is an attacking technique executed with your back to your opponent. With your hips serving as your center, kick with a spin using the twisting power of the hips. Here you use your heel. Make sure that the toes of your kicking leg are pointing downward toward the floor. You bend your supporting leg slightly as in Zenkutsudachi but the bend is less extreme than in my giddy. The instant you turn your back, you look over your shoulder to see the object of your attack. Here at the moment of kicking, you visually confirm your target. Your kick extends straight from the bent position as if you were rubbing your other knee. When attacking the middle part of your opponent's body, make every effort to keep your upper body parallel to the floor. Notice the change in the degree of the lean of your upper body as you shift the attack from the lower to the upper part of his body. Next, let's look at how the leg movement differs in an actual fighting situation, depending on the distance. The important point in the rear kick is to choose an appropriate ma'ai, or distance. You should repeatedly practice to acquire a sense of distance and timing. Here is a look at the rear kick while avoiding the kizamizuki, jab. Try to imitate the leg movements presented here.
This is the rear kick while avoiding the gyakuzuki, reverse punch. While driving your opponent back with udaken, punch with the back of the hand, you execute a rear kick. Here is a series of comparisons of leg movements for different distances. Study them over and over again. Slipping in short roundhouse kick. In this technique, you avoid your opponent's attack by sliding in off the line of attack the instant he steps forward. You execute Mawashigeri to his midsection, Chudan. You adjust the distance by stepping with your supporting leg. The instant you slide into the side of your opponent with your front leg as your support, you execute a kick. Enter with your whole body as if to crash into him. If you allow your hips to rise, this technique will be ineffective. If the distance is too close, this will also render the technique ineffective. After kicking, you should be behind his back in an alert stance. Inside roundhouse kick, instep. For this technique, you execute an unexpected attack from inside your opponent's stance. Now let's look at a situation where you are in close to your opponent. You execute a kick using your instep. If you lean too far backward, you will be pushed off balance by your opponent. Therefore, you should shift your center of gravity forward and execute a kick to the upper, middle, or lower part of your opponent's body, depending on the case. Next, let's see how this technique is used in each situation. One technique is Geidan Mawashigeri, lower roundhouse kick, followed by Jodan Kekomi, upper through kick, a two-stage Nidan technique. Also, although not shown here, there is Geidan Urama Washigeri, lower inside roundhouse kick, followed by the Jodanski upper punch attack, which is very effective in Kumite. Upper inside roundhouse kick, Seoul. Next, let's study the case where the sole is used. 
While avoiding your opponent's attack, you execute a kick to the back of his head or back while looking over your shoulder. You turn your hips completely from the inside and execute a kick using the full power of the attacking leg. You then pull your kicking leg back with the feeling you are hitting your sole against the inside of your thigh.一つ人格完成に努めること一つ誠の道を守ること一つ努力の精神を養うこと一つ礼儀を重んずること一つ結気の湯を戒めること